Hello everybody and welcome back to Rune Viking Warlord, where today we'll be taking on the great and powerful Wendell! Ooh, That shit is scurry like Tim Curry. Embarrassing jokes aside, let's continue. Son of a bitch. Now let's continue! Damn it. Also, there's a cat meowing extremely loud up loudly upstairs. It's kind of annoying. We're watching my aunt's cats for like a good 10 days and unfortunately they constantly have the need to interfere with my recording. Just constantly. Like there's a little cat door thing on the door to the basement. I record in the basement for those of you that don't know. Uh, you know, those little cat hole things that you put at the bottom of the doors. I had to stuff it with like a thick pillow just to keep them out. It is so irritating. I love cats, don't get me wrong, just when I'm recording, I, I need, I need me, I need me time. I need space to myself. And if that cat doesn't shut up, I swear to God. <laughs> I feel bad too, because it's adorable. <laughs> like, it almost sounds like it's saying, hello? <laughs> I feel so bad. But at the same time, it's really irritating, so, conflicted. Oh, wow, did I really lose that much health last time? Jeez. Also, I don't remember the hole being this deep. Wait, Ann. Yeah, they're clawing at the pillow. <laughs> oh, God. If they break down here, I'm going to be really upset. Uh, oh, there we go. This is where we shall venture forth. Whoa. Okay, we're going to... Oh god, can these things swim? Wow, this is like, cruel and unusual. But at the same time, nan and a boo boo. Okay, now I believe this area right here is actually the area I was referring to when we first got to Jotunheim. Because the ground is going to break a bunch, and then once we, if and when we land in the water, it's going to send us all the way back here. Though I think there's something of a checkpoint in the middle, so... Fingers crossed. Eh? Eh? Nah, 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 nah. Okay, okay. Alright, here it is. Okay, so that, that wasn't too bad, actually. You, you think this big chunk breaking off would have made a bit more of a noise than a little... But okay. Okay, where do I want to be? Can't remember if it was the right side or the left side that I wanted to stick to. Uh, I'll go right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. All right, then. Ooh, leg of meat. That is a shield. This is the leg of meat. Thank you. Okay, let's keep going. Eh? <laughs> okay. Nope. Nope. Holy shit, I did that in one... I did that all in one go. I'm proud of me. I'm gonna get myself a brownie later. Oh, wait. That was what I wanted, actually. There we go. I don't know why I keep switching my swords out. It's really irritating. Ooh, rocks. Rocks are bad. Uh, this isn't gonna, like, send me back, is it? Like, if it breaks the ice? Oh. Talk about your icebreakers. <laughs> yeah, okay. We good on the rocks now? We good? Thank you. I picture, like, Toph from Avatar, like, having a field day up there. God damn, that cat is still meowing upstairs. It's really irritating. <laughs> God. I'm going to take my anger out on all these innocent Viking bystanders. Or giants. Giants work too. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen when I try to cross this bridge. Uh, well, hopefully it won't break because I don't see any way I could survive that. Okay. We're good. We're alive. We're well. We're breathing. And we found a stash of meat. Nice. It's made out of people. Take that. And this. And this. And this. Just. Just. Right out of existence. I. I don't know. I kind of prefer it when games do that. It's just goofier to me. That and Ragdoll. Ragdoll is actually probably my favorite. You can't get rid of the body, but. You can have all the fun in the world. 
Eh, I'll take care of you now. Yes, yes, ferocious and scary, blah, blah, blah. I'm used to you guys by now. I know your tricks. Oh, that's a big one. Is this one? I think this one might actually be a little bit bigger than the others. So you must be Wendell. Down you go. But to be honest, his tactics are not very different. Just kind of circle strafe and you'll be fine. Look, now I'm in bloodlust mode. I don't even have to circle strafe. Just keep whacking. And we're done. That is the great and powerful Wendell, everybody. He is done. Defeated, dead, gonzos. And a leg of meat to celebrate. This game needs a lot better bosses. Like, I think there's maybe one badass boss in this entire game. One. At least I think that was supposed to be a boss fight. I can't even really tell. Not to, like, rip on this game too much. I actually do really love this game, but... Boss fights are, like, my favorite part of any video game, especially hack and slash games. So when a boss fight isn't done right, or if I can't even tell if it's a boss, I get a little shitty. Oh, hang on, hang on. The cats have broken through the barrier. Give me one moment. Whew. Okay, one, one catastrophe averted. Let's continue our conquest, where I have no freaking clue where to go, actually. Whew. Okay, I'm a little winded. I just went up and down stairs really quick. Oh, God, I am, I am out of shape. That should not... I should not be winded by that. Then again, that was a very heavy cat. That cat is, like, huge. It is, like, an extremely overweight calico. Oh, <sighs> okay. Wait, I don't actually go down here, do I? Really? Uh, do I go down any... F no, I don't go down any further. Let's just stick to here. Hey, Torchy. Leave worry to cowards, Ragnar. Trust yourself to faith. In other words, don't think, just jump. Just jump. Okay, I remember this jump being very, very treacherous. So, eh, please don't kill me. 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 Please? And we're good, okay. Okay, with that jump, it is actually a little bugged, so don't make fun of me quite yet. If you are, like, the slightest bit off, you will explode before that first little camera change. Like, you'll just blow up out of nowhere. Uh, well, for those of you looking for proof of climate change, there it is. Icy Tundra? This. Icy Tundra? This. That's, like... Drastic. And I believe we're starting in the, uh, the realm of the dwarves now. Oh, there we go. Dwarf foundries. We're gonna be picking on the little people today. What do they use? Okay, dwarves are... Dwarves in this game use hammers more than anything. Ooh, so we'll be getting new hammers. Also, if you haven't noticed, they kind of look like the bad guy from uh, the Power Rangers movie. Ivan Ooze. Oh god, look at all those teeth, too. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this dude's front teeth. He has, like, over 30 front teeth. Just the fronts. My god, man, that is excessive. Evolution is scary in this world. Not quite as terrifying as Oddworld, but still, that, that's a considerable amount of chompers. Ooh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Look at that. I think we have, like, uh, one, maybe two dots to go before we're, at the, before we're at the rune at the bottom there. Ooh, badass music time. Yay! Oh, we finally have Viking gear. Like, legit Viking gear. Jeff is happy. Bring it on, scrubs. Oh, we get a new sword, too. Okay, where's the other dude? I know there was two. Okay, there he is. He's waiting for us. All right. Uh, 
Well, shield we can't really screw with right now. Oh no, that's not a new sword. That's the that's the Gladius. Eh, oh well. There will be more swords. Fret not. Hey, buddy. Whoa, sh okay, I, I was about to comment on your, like, lack of reaction time, but the Sparta kick from hell? I'm impressed. Throwing away your weapon and missing horribly, you lost all my respect. It, like, you gained all my respect and lost it within a span of, like, three seconds. Which, in turn, is quite impressive. Okay, listen to this music for a second. Does this music not scream like bloodthirsty Viking rampage? I love this game's soundtrack, man. <laughs> like, I think this is the first game I ever played that actually had like a metal soundtrack to it. Like, I played this before the Devil May Cry series, I believe. So I was like, oh my god, they can have metal music in video games? My life's complete! Then Brutal Legend came around and changed my world forever. I really wish I could l I really wish I could LP that game. I really do, but I can't. Also, hello hammer. Yes. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off to work we go with razor blades and hand grenades. Hi ho. I missed my elevator. Ooh, that smarts. Yeah, I really wish I could do brutal legend, but there's like it's nothing but copyrighted music, so... I, I just can't. Like, I have a hard enough time doing Life is Strange. And I call bullshit on that copyright claim on those Let's Plays because I turn the volume down to, like... Like, you know, the parts that are, like, just music. Those little montages in the game and all that. I turned it down to where it was, like, nigh inaudible. And I had my commentary over it, and they still came at me with the claim. That, that is just... That is just bull. Like, unbelievable amount of bull. I mean, I'm not, like, making money off my channel, so I'm not gonna, like, bother going through the process of contesting it and all that. Because, you know, with YouTube, you're kind of, uh... You're guilty until proven innocent, so... It's a long uphill battle, for, you know, with that kind of thing. But, I mean, it, it's just really irritating. Like, yeah, I'm sure instead of buying your album, they're going to my Let's Play to listen to your music. I, I'm sh I'm... 100% positive that's what people are actually doing. Just ridiculousness. Okay, I think I gotta hit that switch, then quickly come down here. If I am not mistaken. Which is a phrase I'm using very frequently lately. I'm trying to... I'm trying to, like, vary up my, uh... My speech patterns, but it's very difficult for me, because I don't talk a whole lot in real life, so... I don't get a whole lot of practice throughout the day. Or night, in my case. I'm actually nocturnal. I work at night, so... There's even fewer people to practice with! I guarantee you, if, like, I was under that thing, it would've just, like, squashed me. It wouldn't have, like, pushed me aside like most games. It would've just squashed me. Because bullshit. Hey, buddy! Well, that was easy. Okay, so you see, he can use this big-ass hammer and the shield, and he's like half my size, but alas, I cannot pick up his shield while, while wielding this. That just sucks. Ooh, this seems breakable. And it was. Uh, it seemed a little too easy though. Is there like other stuff I should be looking at? Uh, nope, nope. Just the boring old foundry, I guess. Well, as boring as a foundry can be. With all the smashing hammers on anvils and swords being created. Uh, what was the power for the work hammer? I want to say it's turning people to the stone. It's either that or, like, shooting rocks. There are two hammers, and they both have those powers. They both have one of those powers, I should say. I just can't remember which was which. I don't want to waste it on a bunch of new. Um, oh my god, I almost said noobs. Oh, that's... That is embarrassing. I don't want to waste it on a bunch of, you know, like, minions, you know? 
I want to wait until like my my health is low and I'm really fighting for my life. Goodbye, severed limb. You've been severed once again. From your host, then from my life. Mm, too easy. More stuff? More stuff? Eh, not seeing more stuff. Hello, friends! Have you come to welcome me to the Lollipop Guild? We represent the Lollipop- Oh god, my spleen! Uh, I used to be really good at the munch munchkin voices, but I, I just can't do it anymore. That's what puberty does to a man. Unfortunately, part of that was not, like, sufficient facial hair. Damn you, puberty. Damn you to hell. Or a deep voice. I would kill for a deep voice. But no, I have this, like, borderline alto thing going on. Boo. I'll never be intimidating. Or on radio. Not that I want to be on radio anyway, it's like a dying medium, but you know what I mean. Ah, shit. I totally hit the X button. Boop. There we go. What did this open? Uh, that's where I came from. Was there a door here? Oh, there was. Okay. Why would they show me a rune? This is the end of the level, but, you know, we're gonna, like, dangle this little shiny rune in front of you, blah, blah, blah. Riverworks. Does it, though? Get it, because river works. The river work. I'm not funny. All right, fellas, what do you got for me? One, two, three, four. You have slaughtered many of our brethren, it seems, but alas. Your journey through... ends here, you filthy, hairless ape. Hey. Technically, humans actually have the most hair out of the ape family. Our hair is just not as thick. We have more hair follicles, but they don't usually grow as long or as thick. We are not hairless. You, sir, need to study up on your biology. Hey, buddy. Jesus. I'll take it. <laughs> Didn't even need this thing. Though I may come back for it. Nah, probably not. So where do we go from here? Hmm. Down's as good an answer as any. He says, slurring horribly. Uh, okay, I can't go down any further. Hmm. Oh, where, oh, where is my objective point? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Hit a flat note. Good going, me. You see, it keeps switching to this wimpy little sword. Stick with the broadsword, thank you. I love this hammer. It makes things go smush. And explode into... Countless bits of gore. Also, I can go up here. Hello. Oh, sweet. Full bar. Also sweet. Full health. Mm. Yeah, I don't know where... He, I don't really know where to go from here. Um, I... Yeah, I mean... There's not really anything down there. Is this open? Oh. I... Kind of assumed that was locked. Hey, friends. Did you hear the screaming from the next room? That probably should have been your omen. Because down you go. Wow, this hammer kicks all kinds of ass. So I just kind of... Yep, there we go. Wow, it was extremely easy to navigate this place. Though that windmill might, uh, might prove an obstacle. We shall see. Oh, oh, okay, it sucks me in. Alright, um, stick to the wall. Don't want to die. <gasps> fruit! Here, wait, some fruit. Good to know. I like to think that, uh, 
you know, the fact that the lizards and the legs of meat and the mead all give you more health than the fruit does. I like to think that's like a subtle jab at vegans. I don't have anything against vegans. I, I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> Gross. Or maybe it's kind of a... Maybe it's kind of an allusion to the whole, you know, eating giant gratuitous amounts of meat as manly as fuck. You know, come to think of it, that's probably what that is. Okay. Let's go ahead and not die, shall we? Hey, buddy. Hello? Do you have some time to talk about Jesus? I, I guess he legitimately wanted to hear the good news. Well, unfortunately, the good news in his life eh, kind of ran out. The last bit of good news he had in his life was... It was over quickly. Hashtag depressing. Okay, so now we jump on the windmill blades. This I do recall. Which means we gotta get on this side here. And jump on this blade here. Oh, oh. I was not meant for that blade. This blade, however, shall carry me to victory. Thank you, sir. And, and end of level. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's a good enough puzzle to end a level on. Uh, let's see what the game's gonna throw at me next. Looks like it's gonna be some good old Viking sabotage. Okay, I've been recording for about eh, 25 minutes and 20 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Rune, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we do some Viking sabotage. I'll see you guys then. Oh my god, it's a mirage. I'm telling y'all it's Viking sabotage. <laughs>